Getting accurate measurements using conventional measuring tapes could be hard sometimes, particularly when you're dealing with complicated spaces at your work site. But you'll get rid of this inconvenience if you're using a laser distance measure. Now, meet the DM40 laser distance meter from Cisco. It is a great device to precisely measure distance within seconds, no matter what workplaces you're working with. The Cisco laser distance meter has the ability to make complex calculations with a simple point and click and it features clear simple interface which makes it easy for users to navigate and quickly choose specific functions and take a measurement with minimal downtime. But what if there is any error or error message shown on the display, as this is a design feature of this unit, and that's why we've made this video to help you with that. You can check out the following info to look for solutions. And besides, we've also covered several usage and maintenance tips in this episode. So check them out to make better use of this unit. If there is any error, error message shown on the display, you could check out the following info to look for solutions. If the actual measurement range exceeds the rated range, the measurer will display error, which indicates you should use the device within the set range. If the unit shows error 1, that means the received signal is too weak then you should choose a target with stronger reflectance or use the reflector to enhance the return signal. On the other hand, if the signal is too strong and there comes R2, then you should change to another target surface with weaker reflectance. Message R3 indicates low battery and it's time for you to replace the battery. The rear is where you'll find the battery cover. Put the back of and here it reviews the compartment for installing two AAA 1.5 volt alkaline batteries. Pay attention to which side the positive and negative go. With the batteries installed in tight, close the battery cover and the device is ready to go again. If message R4 pops up, that means the ambient temperature goes beyond the rated working temperature. Then you should check and make sure the device is working in the specified temperature. In the event a Pythagoras measuring error occurs, such as the hypotenuse is shorter than any of the legs, you come across R5. Of course, you should remeasure and ensure hypotenuse is longer than cathetus. It's recommended to remove the batteries if the device is to be laid up for a long time, to avoid the battery corrosion damaging the laser distance meter. And you can put it into the included portable bag and keep it in cool and dry conditions or carry it with you around. The wrist strip also allows you to attach it to the measurer to provide better portability without worrying about accidentally dropping. It features a handy pocket-sized design at less than 4 ounces, allowing you to place it on the tube belt or your pocket for easy accessibility when on the job. This small device features a robust design with over-molded housing, which makes it durable enough to withstand harsh conditions at your work site. In addition, it is IP54 rated for protection against dust and water, which means a little water won't cause any harm to the measure. Good maintenance makes for extended service life, so please keep the device surface clean. Wet soft cloth is recommended to clean dust, while erosion liquid is never to be used for maintenance. The laser transmitter and optical lens can be maintained according to the maintenance procedures for optical devices. So that wraps it up for our video. Hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. The DM40 Cisco Laser Distance Meter is an ideal choice for those who want a rugged, accurate, feature-packed, and easy-to-use measuring device for their work site. Don't forget the product link has been posted in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. We'll see you guys in the next video.